Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can save a lot of space on your Mac by not having all of your apps installed all of the time. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now if you're short of space on your Mac's drive you may be looking for ways to get some of that space back. Some of the biggest files on your Mac are going to be applications. But here's the thing. You don't need to have all of your applications installed all the time. You probably have some applications you use all the time and others that you could be using any day. But there are probably some that you rarely use. Well just because you purchased that app and have installed it doesn't mean you can't uninstall it. You could always reinstall it later. In almost all cases it's easy to reinstall software that you've already purchased. Years ago this wasn't necessarily true. It took a long time to install apps from disks or from CDs or if you purchase something online trying to reinstall it from wherever you bought it from was difficult. But in most cases you're getting your apps from the Mac App Store. And even if you're not you're probably downloading them from other sites. And you can easily re-download an app. So for instance let's take a look and see how much space is being used by applications on my Mac here. I'm going to go to About This Mac and then Storage and then Manage. And then I'm going to click on Applications here. And then I could sort by size and see the largest first and see the apps that are taking up the most space. I can start going through them and figure out what it is that I don't really need to use all the time. And in fact when you select an app you've got the ability right here to uninstall it. And no this won't clean up all the little bits it might add to the library but it will get rid of the bulk of the app. And it will leave preference files, really tiny files, behind. So when you reinstall the app you can pick up right where you left off. Now let's go into the App Store here. And then let's take a look inside of the account by clicking down here. You should be able to see all of your purchased apps. Of course this is my demo account so it's pretty small. My real account has pages and pages of apps. Notice that if an app isn't installed like this one it has a little cloud icon and I can click right here to reinstall it. If an app is already installed then usually it has an open button. So as an example let's get rid of this app right here. I'm going to go into Launchpad and search for it. And then I'm going to click and hold and then click the X. I could have deleted it using the Storage Manager like I showed before. So let's delete that. So now the app's no longer on my Mac. But if I return to the App Store I see that I can easily re-download it here. I'll just click there and it's going to get the most recent version from the App Store and reinstall it. It can do it so easily because I'm logged in here to my account. It knows I purchased this app using this account and that I have the right to download it. I don't get charged again or anything like that. And this works whether the app is free or it costs something. And it's also going to remember any in-app purchases you made. So if you needed in-app purchases to upgrade the app it's going to know because you're using the same Apple ID that you've made those purchases and you can access those parts of the app as well. Now in other cases you may be installing the app from a different system than the Mac App Store. So for instance here are these Adobe apps I'm installing using Adobe Creative Cloud. And actually the Creative Cloud interface makes it very easy to uninstall and reinstall apps. So if I find I rarely use Photoshop, maybe a few times a year, I can uninstall it and get back all that space and the next time I need it I can reinstall it. Other apps like this game come from different systems and you may find that you can just as easily reinstall there. For instance going to things like Steam for instance for games allows you to just re-download anything you've purchased. You don't need to keep the games installed after you've done playing them thinking that you may want to get back to them in a couple of years. Still other apps like this one you may install from a website downloading it and installing it from there. But in those cases you can just re-download and reinstall them again. Most apps today have you log into the site and you can authenticate yourself that way and it can show that you've purchased that app and you can re-download it. Other times you can always download the app for free and you simply log into your account inside the app once you've got it installed. So in close to 100% of the situations today you can reinstall apps that you've previously purchased no matter where you've gotten them from. So the next time you need to clear off some space Maybe look at your applications and even if they're valuable applications that you spend a lot of money on consider uninstalling them knowing you can easily reinstall them later on should you need them. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. 
I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.